Hello admin, it's been a hot minute. I recently traveled to the village to attend a Rewadi's Kuingira but what I saw for sure, only God knows. I was part of the groom's entourage but the way I got shy because of how my colleagues looked so nice, I couldn't even stop looking at them. I saw this extremely handsome guy, y'all can picture that typical, western sharp face, black skin tone, look that's so beautiful, anyways it was this guy. I think he noticed I was from the city and he kept on speaking to me in English but I never paid attention at first. All the groom's men took pictures using my phone, and they all asked for my WhatsApp number to send them. I didn't think much about it at the moment. First and foremost, at the end of the event, tension between me and this guy was escalating, and I prayed that he sits with me in the car as we leave to go back home. Meanwhile, all this time I was literally, salivating, for all the dick prints and fine men I saw. Jesus. I got abbot hard under my missionana for men. So we were in the car, parked somewhere and God answered my prayers, I sat next to this fine guy. In my heart I thought I was being delusional when I wanted us to do shit in the car but to my utter surprise, somewhere along the journey, this guy started fixing his elbow onto my upper thighs. I didn't think much about it for some seconds, but he kept on pushing it slowly by slowly. And there he was, on my dick rubbing it. Admin I became so hard but then also so shy. This guy was a pro, for a village guy whom we perceive as ignorant of queer stuff, I kept on smiling to myself in disbelief. It was kinda dark inside the car and he slowly opened my zip, the ride was almost two hours and we gave each other handjobs the whole time. I had never felt so happy, confused and shocked at the same time. This is the guy who kept on shouting that they bring girls into the car and they play with them. This is a guy who is hyper-masculine and giving this old men confident speeches. It just hand-skipped my mind, the possibility of him being queer. He has masked it so well and I couldn't even tell. Anyways we reached home, we were supposed to share beds, ten guys on like three big mattresses. Admin. We had to shower but I was so shocked that these guys showered together in one bathroom and also moved around the room naked. You guy, these men had massive cocks, fuck. Admin I was so shy but deep inside I knew I had to make a move. Time for sleeping came, I slept with this guy and for like 4 hours, we were grinding until he nutted as we shared the mattress with other boys. The next day was the wedding but I had post-nut clarity and I was like Oyo Mumas, next please. We sat in the car but this time round we were three behind, a new guy in between me and the other guy from the previous night. Admin, I low-key took a glance and to my surprise this guy was doing the same thing of putting his elbow on this new guy's dick. Admin I was a bit shocked but more than that I was so happy. For a long time I had always wondered how villagers do it and here I was, experiencing, rural homosexuality. For me, I didn't feel jealous or used, I just felt happy and at peace in knowing that there are people like us in our extremely conservative culture. I kept smiling just no. I also started noticing how his friends greet him and I suspected he has eaten many of those boys in the village. Child, he's definitely in a very steamy and dreamy dating pool. Anyway I got the best man's number and I'm going to eat him on Wednesday. He studies at a certain university in Kansanga.